all right good morning we made it we are uh i th we thought this was going to go to like new construction and it was going to be a crane unload and now they're just using a little bitty forklift and then there's nowhere to turn around back there so i've got to find out where we can back into and turn around i've seen a spot over here by this barn on the other side i think if we keep backing up we can swing it and there or i think on the other side of the trailer here we can blindside blindside into this grass over here i don't know if that'll give us enough room to pull out though unless we can blindside it up into that hole but then you have to i don't know it's kind of a tight little spot back in here anyway still still no load yet so Maybe we could swing it into this grass and down into that gravel or right here into this spot. That'd probably be the, the spot to hit right here. Would be back into there and swing out. So this morning I was walking by a, uh, a hot shot truck and the, uh, the guy was so big he had to sleep in the driver's seat with the seat laid back and his stomach stuck up above the steering wheel. Watch out, Mackie. Up above the steering wheel. So you walk by him and he's like barely leaned back and his stomach's like way up here. It's like, man, you're that big of a guy and you're doing hot shot. Honestly, if you're that big, you should get in a semi truck where you have a little bit more room. Sleeping in the driver's seat with the seat barely pushed back is crazy. Oh, I think we can swing it in. There's a, there's a spot right here next to this um, roller. Well, let me get on the board, see if we can find something. He said his dispatcher hasn't found him anything yet either. He's just gonna get unloaded and go back to the truck stop. I'm like, man, I'm tired of doing that though, man. It seems like that's that's all that happens here lately is. All right, well, let me get to looking. This is all Truck Stop has been doing the last couple days. This is all you get. It takes like five minutes to click on each on each load. And it's not my internet. Yeah, see, definitely not my internet. We're getting 500 megabyte download right now, Bebs. Oh, crazy. Are you, being, crazy. you being sarcastic? No. Yeah, that is crazy. That is a good download. Look at that, almost 80 up. 81 up. Yeah, so it's not an internet issue. It's a, I spent $150 on truck stop and it's garbage issue. Almost, almost wish this was a crane unload now. Yeah, no kidding. Ours are even bigger than that. This is going to be an issue. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to have a problem with getting ours off. Hers, his, his are all skinny. He's got skinny air conditioners. Ow. Well. I might have found us a load. I don't know. We'll see. It's one of those deals where we don't have any inspections. I know. Oh, I'll just go get an inspection. I don't know. To me, that's just like going into a a police department be like, can you run a background check on me and see if I've done anything wrong? You know? You might think you're okay, but if you catch somebody in a bad mood. Yeah. Hmm. 
Man, this is taking forever. I pulled up and seen forklifts. I was like, dude, this is gonna be nice. Oh, well. Oh, they're taking them all in that building too. I figured they were just gonna store them here. Looks like they might just do air conditioning here now. Uh, now their trucks say plumbing. Yeah. All right, so we've uh, we've moved down the road here to um, Walmart. We had to get, do some shopping. Lead is about to finish up. This is easily uh, going to be our worst month in business um, ever. You know, it's it's one thing to sit at home and have a bad month. It's another thing to actually try to work, like legitimately try to work and have a bad month. So I think I found us a load. Oh, that load that we thought we had. So they wanted uh, they wanted pictures of the truck and they wanted uh, pictures of the cab card and they wanted uh, uh, copies of our annual inspection. So Lita sent that over and uh, I think that's an Acura NSX right there. I think those are fairly rare. Um, yeah, so we sent that over and then we were getting unloaded for like two and a half hours and Lita emailed him back and was checking. She's like, hey, uh, what's, you know, what's the deal? Are we going to get this load? And the guy's like, oh, I, 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 I didn't see your email with the information. Uh, I ended up giving that load away. So we moved over here to Walmart because we need to pick up a few things. And I might have us a load going from Granite City to South Carolina. Looks like we've got that load. So we're picking up in Granite City tomorrow at 8. Going to South Carolina, east of Augusta. Graniteville, South Carolina, I think. Lead us here with the groceries. Let me uh, let me give her a hand here. All right, we've uh, made it to uh, Granite City, Illinois. We are, uh, we're back at this Hardee's that we stayed at before. And uh, last time we were here, I believe we got here late or we got here on the weekend and uh, this Tri-City Canvas place was closed. And I wanted to check it out. It's 3.30 right now. They close at five. So, ooh, she's a dirty truck. So I just wanna walk over here and take a peek while they're still open and uh, see what they got, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Um, man, what a terrible week, huh? Yeah. What a terrible week. That snowstorm kind of screwed us, but I don't even know if we can blame it on the snowstorm. I mean, that area is pretty bad on top of the snowstorm. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. This is uh this this place isn't fun to back into. Those poles were here. Does it look like the APU smoking? What? Does it look like the APU is smoking? I guess it doesn't look too bad right now. No, I mean it's all right. Yeah, let's, let me go check this. All right, anyways, we're gonna walk over here to Tri-City Canvas and uh, see what they got. Good morning. We have uh, arrived. It is uh, 7.30. We're here 30 minutes early, but technically we have an 8 o'clock appointment, but the Raycon says between 7 and 9, so maybe they can get us loaded a little early. I'm not sure. So this is supposed to be, uh, on the load board, he had 40,000 pounds, but on the Raycon it says 44,100 pounds. Supposed to be five coils, I think. Yep, 
Yeah, five coils. So, this is basically max weight for us. I think we can do like 44, five. I don't know, we don't have the Suron on here, so we could probably do like 44, six. I think I included the Suron. Um, I've been leaving that at home for Nate to uh, ride, but now he has that little moped. So I'll probably start bringing it with us. Plus it's been winter time, so I don't want to be tempted to ride the bike on some ice or it just be too it's just too cold to ride honestly so anyways we're here i think is is this the first place we ever picked up a coil before i can't remember where our first coil was i thought that's where we were going but the building we've been here before but i don't think this was our first coil place ever anyways lady went to go uh let them know we're here and uh, we'll see you in a bit All right, I had no idea it was gonna be skidded coils. But that's what we got, five coils. It's uh, 40, they got all the weights on them. Which I've said this before at a lot of places that are like, we don't know what it weighs. They should have to, they should have to weigh them and ride on it or have a scale on the premises. Anyways, you can see like this one weighs 7,320 and then you got 8,980. I went through and added it all up and it's 44,100 pounds pretty much it lead is getting some blankets out so we can blanket the top and then we're going to uh tarp these bad boys up hot woman and then we'll uh we'll go scale it after this and then we're headed to uh, graniteville south carolina and i hope i can find something back out of there because 
we got to figure something out. All right, there we go. We are tarped down. Probably didn't need that last bunch of bungees, huh? Maybe one more right here. Let me get one more of them bad boys. Yeah. All right, that tarp just barely made it. This is one of our, uh, I think they're 20 foot long with the flap on the end. Well, let's go get this bad girl weighed and go to South Carolina, huh? All right, so we've gone down the road we weighed the truck, we got a shower, and we are overweight. So we are, I think a hundred, what was it? Was it 120 pounds overweight? 120 pounds overweight. Four. Which, uh, we're a little less than three quarters of a tank on the fuel, which we have an APU too, and a lot of states allow you up to 500 pounds for your APU. But this definitely weighed more than, f oh, this was 44.1. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I was just thinking, uh, I, I it's you. more. I, I think it's more. Even with me adding up those coils, I don't know where the extra weight is from. Well, I guess we just need to reweigh this thing again. I don't know if it would, I don't know. I don't remember what we could do, honestly. I thought it was 44 or five, but I guess not. Anyways, there's a lot of trucks here at this truck stop. This is the, we've stayed at this truck stop before. It's a pilot right across from the hen house. Um, you see exactly where we are. It's only like, it's still considered Granite City. It's like five miles down the road from where we loaded. Uh, this is, um, Pontoon Beach, Illinois is what it calls this pilot. Absolutely an amazing shower though. Golly, it was such a good shower. And they have a Denny's. Oh yeah, they have a Denny's in here too. But we just went grocery shopping, so we're going to try not to, uh, yep. buy any food since we've, since we're basically poor now since we've had like six weeks in a row that have been absolutely terrible. Oh, I need to be looking for a load rather than talking. All right, Lita's gonna cook us some food. We're gonna hit the road. It says we're 10 hours and 49 minutes away. This takes us down through Atlanta and over through Augusta to get here. So that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. You wanna go to Connecticut, Babs? No. Oh. It is uh, Norwalk. Oh. You sound excited. We should grab that then. I know. That's why I want to go. There's some Baltimore, Maryland loads. Here's a Excuse me. Jacksonville, Florida.
go back up to Minnesota. Minnesota. Machinery new, all types. Tracking required. Has two pickups. One in Georgia, one in Kentucky. Two thirty a mile. To go to Shaco, Shaco P, Minnesota. Shaco P. Let's see where that even is. There was a uh, load going up to Anchorage, Alaska, for uh, five bucks a mile. Um, that's right by Minneapolis. Um, but we carry a firearm with us. I don't know what the deal would be with that. I know Canada hates Americans that like guns. Bro, every time I think we have it bad here, I just think about Canada. Here's one going to Bryan, Texas. All right, anyways, let's hit the road.